We've seen days of protests in Elizabeth City, but the community also is showing its support in quieter, more subtle ways. Alex Littlehales reports. If home is where the heart is. It's shocking when it happens in your own hometown because you just want your town to be better. It's really hard to rationalize that it's happening here. In the heart of Elizabeth City is in pain. The country now knows of the small North Carolina town for the wrong reasons. Not in our close-knit community. I didn't believe it would happen here. More than a week after deputies shot and killed Andrew Brown Jr., some people in the community say they're no closer to finding closure. Especially by hitting this close to home. And I knew this young man. I've never had a problem from this young man. Days of protests show their dedication and unity. But lifelong residents like artist Jessa Kimbra have also found subtle ways to show support like painting the words no justice, no peace over her own mural near downtown. Using, you know, my privilege as a white woman that runs a business and my platform to speak up for the bigger picture, to take a stand for everybody. Or Christina Persico, who flies a Black Lives Matter flag near the site of where deputies shot and killed Brown. It can't just be black people fighting for justice. It can't just be gay people fighting for gay rights. It has to be all of us fighting for our, uh, all of our human rights. Jeff Christian flies a similar flag on Broad Street, but the phrase means more as someone who personally knows Brown's family. When are we going to stop dying? When are they going to stop killing us? Together, they show that in Elizabeth City, there are many ways to fight for justice. And emotions will run high this upcoming weekend, too. Funeral services are scheduled for this upcoming Sunday and Monday as well. In Elizabeth City, I'm Alex Littlehales, 13 News Now. Right, a few more details on that. Andrew Brown's Jr.'s funeral is Monday. Sunday, there will be two public viewings. The first starts at 9 a.m. at Horton's Funeral Home and Cremation in Hertford. The second starts at 3 o'clock at the Museum of the Albemarle in Elizabeth City. With details emerging every day on this story, trust 13 News Now to keep you updated on air, online, and on our app.